Okay, Jack here. We're back at the historical gold mine in Southern Oregon. We're going to show you what we blasted out last time, and we're going to do another 40 shots today. This is an example of a stope where the vein goes up high from the adit. In this case, way up here, you can see the rich vein running across the top there. That's uh, about uh, 25 feet up in the air from where I'm standing. So this is the muck pile from the shot we did in the first video as we're blasting up the stope. And we're working on the muck pile to give us enough elevation to keep working up the stope vein. Pouring in the last 50 pound bag of Anfo. We'll pull another eight feet up in the stope from this shot coming up next. And then once they muck out this whole pile of gravel, you'll have to build wooden stalls to get up into the stope again. But you can also see the size of this rock, how well it's pulverized from our last shot. It has turned into gravel, which is small enough to go through the mill very easily. And there. Get out of the line of fire here. <laughs> Jack's videos are awesome on YouTube. He's got him dropping his hat. And oh, yeah. Done. Right. Dog's taking him out. Okay, go. <laughs> go. So we're hooking up the non L's now, and it looks a little bit confusing when you first do it, but you just have to systematically connect one to the next shot. They daisy chain together, and so we pick shot number one, which is the uh, hole closest to the face that's going to blow out. And then it goes on and on until we get them all clipped together. We put the blasting cap on shot number one. Stefan, how many uh, shots do we have in this group? Ten. Okay. So we'll have 40 shots today. Nice. So to give you an example of how much quartz is in here, if you can see it, there's some very large veins that just come all the way through. We get upwards, upwards of six foot wide right here too. Yeah. We're gonna blow this all out and drop it on the ground. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay, it looks good. So the blast is going to go off any time, but our brave miners are not concerned. <laughs> We're going to go and have a look. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. But you felt it suck it in? Yeah, it did suck in first. That was awesome. That was interesting. <laughs> not so interesting now, huh, Rip? Say, I'm a creep up. Wow. Yeah, pushes out. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty unique. Here comes the next one. Oh. That one. Oh, 
I figured that'd be the bigger one. Yeah. No. Those are all seven foots and there's twelves, twelve holes there. Still one more. Yeah, that one should yeah, that, that one only has five holes, but should have a little pop shit. <laughs> that was probably the biggest. Watch how we got door closed on us. Let's not get trapped in here. Oh, Woohoo! Good that work, good. gentlemen. when you swirl it around and then you just see the gold reveal itself. So what we did is we did a quick test run in the new mill and we put new hammers in. I think this these pieces here are from the hammers from the hammer mill. But you can also see a nice stripe of gold here that we uncovered from a few buckets of material we had to run. So looks very promising and we look forward to running all the tonnage we dropped this afternoon next time. This is what it's all about right here. This one little bar is an ounce and a half of pure gold. Needless to say, underground mining is extremely dangerous. Do not go into any underground mine unless you've had the proper training and know what you're doing.